Okay, I watch this one. Now I'm nervous. The okay, figure one year, out but what, what the under the gun uh, razor has. The under the gun is the guy who raised. I'll narrate the caller. The middle position calls the 45. I lay down the 8-9. I'm going. I'm just going to spectate with you guys on this one. I'll narrate the dealer positions. Heads up. So the flop is four hearts, kings, bay, two diamonds. The under the gun, $45, pre flop top guy check. The middle position guy bets $45. Sorry, sorry. My under the gun guy calls. The dealer pills off a five of clubs for the turn card. There's about $200 in the pot. Action goes check check. For the river, the dealer pills off a four of diamonds. The under the gun guy in first position bets 200 on the river. Suddenly he's woken up with a hand and wants to represent it. Question is, does he have it? I don't know, how was the action? Pre-flop it went under the gun, raise 45, and call. The flop came king high with the two and the four rainbow. The second guy who called pre-bet 45 and gets called. The turn come five clubs and goes check check. On the river the dealer peels off a four of diamonds pairing the board. And the under the gun guy bets 200, bluff or not, make the call. Looks like an ace king to me, that's my guess. Ace king is reasonable, no one should have king four or king five. What about pocket deuces? Could he have pocket deuces? Pocket deuces is definitely within the guy's range, but I would think the other guy would have pocket deuces or pocket fives or pocket fours. Actually, nobody has pocket fours because then you got quads. And that guy would be like shoving his money in the pot as quickly as possible, entirely possible, if he had quads or a full house. I'm talking about the guy calling. Now, the guy betting the 200, he could have pocket kings. That's not impossible. He raises pre-flop under gun 45 because he has pocket kings. He uh, checks the flop and calls the flop uh, because, again, he has a set of kings now. He uh, doesn't get too aggressive on the turn. He just checks. And then uh, now he has to fire out. He's got to get paid off, so he bets 200 on the river. That's a reasonable pocket king, so now he has kings full of fours. No, I just think he missed the whole thing, and he's a jack-off. And jack-off try to bet 200 to save themselves on the river. Funny, that is what they do. All right, Jiggas, let's see what he's got. Showtime. Ace three. What the hell? Raise 45 pre-flop with ace three and then get there with the five on the river. Wow. Jack offs do that too. Yes, they do. Huh. Yes, they do. <laughs> nice hand, guy. Jack off.